I'm Steve Morse on tour right now with Deep Purple. We're in New York City and we've got a show in a couple hours, but Joe invited me here to talk about the, uh, well, some of my equipment for Music Radar. So, first of all, this guitar is my, sort of my bread and butter guitar. It's a Steve Morse model, oddly enough, made by Music Man, and it has four pickups, three different switches. And uh, later on I'll show you a different model that's more simplified. But this is, this is the uh, original Steve Morse model, made about 26 years ago. It's got a few miles on it. This is serial number one. And uh, it's the kind of guitar that you can pick up and play all night long, co doing covers of all different kinds of music. And that's the reason for having lots of different pickups and pickup combinations. First of all, uh, DeMarzio has made these pickups. The humbuckers were designed for me originally on my uh, Frankenstein uh, Fender Tele Strat combination that I used uh, and record with the Dregs all through the 70s. So um, basically, the, the most common sounds I use are, are, are with the humbuckers. <laughs> What I do is when I go up high on the neck, I switch to the neck humbucker. The camera's so close it's probably picking up my picking more than the amplifier. But the uh, down low in the neck, I use the bridge position pick up here for to get more humbucker. for harmonics and things like that. It's got a, a very nice, um, well I think a, a very well balanced high end with the mid-range. Right? When I use them both together, it makes a kind of a neutral sound. Uh, not a out of phase sound. And one thing that I like to use is a tone control to, to shape the sound like it's a very gentle wah sound. Also, there's a, the single coil pickups allow me to turn down. I'm still using the same overdriven sound with this little practice amp. By using single coil pickup, I can turn turn your guitar down and still have enough high end to have some clarity. Combine the humbucking with a single coil, you get Jeez, my thumbnail just caught my finger. When I combine the single coil with the humbucking, you get a nice sort of funky uh, sound that I use for a lot for um, rhythmic country licks. <laughs> That's the straight humbug. All in all, the this is one guitar. It's like many things that do many functions. It's a compromise of design. It has the ability to do lots of things in a very broad spectrum and sort of like a Swiss Army knife. On a Swiss Army knife, you may find a better 
uh, knife for certain things individually, but I believe this is the this is the one guitar that I can take anywhere and play any kind of music on. And look, it just sits and balances, no issues, no nothing. It's got the uh, shorter headstock. It fits in overhead compartment of any uh, regional plane or jet that I've seen. Believe me, that matters to me. Okay, this guitar, this is the Y2D model, and it's a Music Man, Steve Morse model also. Y2D is in uh, year two decades. It was 20 years after we did the first guitar, and it was just a little takeoff of the name of the uh, abbreviation Y2K when people were afraid that in 2000, uh, 2001, the, all the computers were going to stop the earth because they weren't programmed, right? Anyway, this is sort of my answer to the kind of guitar I need with Deep Purple to get the, the heaviest rock sound. It's got same balance, same ergonomics. For me, even though there's binding, it's, it's rounded off. That's important to me because, uh, well, I practice every day and, and I like to feel comfortable with the guitar. The reason I don't have the, the, the big sanded away area is because I, I feel like it doesn't have the same uh, dimensions of a guitar then. I feel like then, then the playing surface is out in front of my arm. This way it, it puts in the correct balance for me. Okay, there's three pickups, not four. And there's only one position, excuse me, there's only one multipole switch with five positions. In, in order of the pickups, position one here, position two, that's these two, position three, that's just this. Everything's making sense so far, but position four is these two. Now you can't do that with a regular knife switch, so we had to have a multipole uh, switch so we could make that wiring happen. Then this position is only this pickup. So basically, it's very intuitive. If you've ever played a Strat, there's only one position that's different than, than Strat wiring. And, and bottom line is that you push it down this way and play your chords. If you go up high on the neck, single coil stuff is, I use it all the time, and you notice the single coil pickup is pulled away from the strings. Uh, that gives you an advantage in the way that I use it, which is to provide some relief from the high gain. So if, so if I'm playing through my angle amp and I've got, I'm on a distorted setting, if I want to clean up the sound, I just turn on the guitar, switch over to the single coil pickup, and then, then I can... get some clarity in it. The reason this only has three pickups and five positions is after analyzing what I use for thousands of gigs with my four pickup guitar, uh, I discovered there was five sounds. Those were the ones I went to all the time when I played live. And I only use the fourth pickup that would nor normally be here for recording sometimes, you know, to get an alternate sound. So by streamlining this, we made the guitar have more density and less magnetism. It rings better and uh, still keeping the perfect balance. And with a single switch, it makes it much easier for anybody just picking up the guitar to get a sound they can understand. Basically, it's it's like Strat with one position different. So it, it's easy to play and it, 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 well, it just works. This is the one I use when we play knocking your back. So <laughs> Two 
him down a little bit and it's got a, well, this is just an off the shelf model. Nothing, it's brand new, nothing really fancy about it. We put a piece of tape here to hold my picks. Piece of tape with Velcro, rather. 